Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. I've done a bunch of these videos. Uh, I personally am fascinated by the scarcity of Bitcoin. This is the fifth time I've tried to analyze and estimate the actual number of whole coiners in the world. And about a month ago, I did a video on the peak whole coin status, which was super interesting as well. Basically, it's impossible, physical impossibility, that there will ever be more than one million whole coiners. But there's a lot more than that. It's actually an awful lot less. And this will be the shocking truth revealed, the inside of the whole coiner world. And uh, let's just jump in. This is going to be a fun one. And it shows you the importance of this asset as we go forward. And of course, it's not investment advice, it's edutainment. That's all I do here. And uh, let's talk as well. If you want to amplify your intelligence, this is the only place on earth you can find this content. Let's jump in and go fast. But it's a fun one. So first of all, everybody talks about the Bitcoin addresses breaking one million unique addresses, holding one more more than one Bitcoin. Uh, so when people hear it, it's like, oh, it's more than a million people actually have more than one Bitcoin. Is that really true? It's actually 1.007 million people as of now, per this great chart by our friends at Blockware Solutions. Um, so let's set the stage. So here there are 1.007 million unique addresses holding one plus Bitcoin. And many claim one million people own more than a whole Bitcoin, but I believe this is very misleading. And the unique addresses with more than one Bitcoin is a lot less. And we're going to get to that at the end of the show. In fact, it's going to be a double whammy because I'm going to show you how it's a lot less and how it's actually even a lot less than that too. So, and by the way, I've been talking about the whole coin status since I started this channel. It was, I've known since 2017, having one whole Bitcoin will be a very special place to be. And I have incentivized many people to make that their goal. So congratulations to all of you out there. Keep your security safe. But let's talk about addresses for a second. Now, a Bitcoin wallet consists of a private key and an extended public key. Some people call it XPUB. And public addresses used to receive Bitcoin are derived from the XPUB, which can create over 4 billion unique addresses. And this is to enhance privacy. Most wallets generate a new address each time you receive funds. And there is no way to know that any two addresses derived from the same XPUB, which is like a wallet, unless someone shares their XPUB. And that is the part of what allows Bitcoin to be both simultaneously 100% transparent, but also pseudonymous, i.e. private, which is just one of the many fascinating things about this whole protocol. Um, so another example of how people have many different addresses, this is from SGG and Patreon. One reason why the Bitcoin wallets have increased is because of BRC20 and ordinals alone. This one individual has created four wallets for that exact reason, on top of many, many other wallets. So again, it's not one wallet per user. Each individual can have many. But let's jump into the math behind that. Let's look at some XPUB math here. Uh, public addresses are derived from that XPUB like I mentioned. And XPUB can generate 4.3 billion unique public addresses. And 99% of wallets default to generating a new public address with each received fund for maximum user privacy. So you don't even have to do it. It kind of does it itself, which is powerful. Now let's look and get into the key part of this calculation. This is the number of addresses per unique users. And if we look at the average number of Bitcoin addresses per user, um, one plus Bitcoin is 1.007 million people. The unique public Bitcoin addresses is 1.15 billion and the estimated number of Bitcoin users is 36.8 million and that means the average number of addresses per user is 31.25. Not two, not four, but 31.25. That is a lot. Uh, in my old calculations, considering things like lost coins, etc., I had assumed in some calculations at least three users or three addresses per user then six, then eight, et cetera, as we went on. So a big shout out as well to Blockware Solutions for these great charts and these great ideas. But here you can see three things. One, the Bitcoin price. Two, the total addresses. And three, in green, the total entities. Remember, the total addresses is 1.15 billion addresses like we just covered. 
but that only represents 36,800 entities or unique users. Think about that, not 1 million. So part one of this whole calculation, again, if we look at the number of addresses with one plus Bitcoin, it does not equate directly to the number of whole coiners because most users have multiple addresses like we've <laughs> whipped to death here with one plus Bitcoin. Now we can account for this by dividing the number of addresses with one Bitcoin by the estimated number of addresses per user and the estimated number of addresses per user is 31.5. So if we divide the number of addresses with one plus Bitcoin divided by 31.5, we get 31,985 whole coiners. That is the estimated number of whole coiners. That might be a shock to many of you, but there's more. There's another twist to this as well, because it cuts both ways. Let's look at part two. Part two is very important because the number of addresses with one plus Bitcoin does not equate directly to the number of whole coiners because most users have multiple addresses with one plus Bitcoin. And we can account for this by dividing the number of addresses with one plus Bitcoin again by the estimated number of users. But what we need to do is calculate the average bag per address. So if we take one divided by 31.25, we get about 0 0.0317 Bitcoin per average address. And if we take that, that's about $960 worth. Multiply or divide it by 0 0.0317, you get a whole coin or about $30,000 in value. And the number of addresses with 1,000 plus of Bitcoin is 7.4 million addresses. And subtract whole coiners with one plus Bitcoin per address, which is 1 million equals 6.4 million. Now divide that 6.4 million by the 31.5 addresses per user and you get 203,215. So sorry for <laughs> spelling out like that, but if you show the step-by-step -step calculation, it makes much more sense. So basically adding part one and part two together, part one is the 31,985 users, part two is 203,000. You get 235,200 whole coiners only on planet Earth. That's less than a quarter of a million, but there's more. So Adam Back uh, did come out and he was intrigued by the whole 1 million UTXOs and Bitcoin with, with one or more Bitcoin. And he said, are we at peak whole coin status? And this whole concept kind of as Bitcoin price soars, becoming a whole coiner will become harder and harder and it will become unattainable for new people that come in. Um, and that was the whole thesis. Basically, he said, well, 10 million whole coiners is completely, absolutely impossible. And therefore, he also believes we are peak whole coin status. There won't be more whole coiners, as he said, beyond a million per the numbers here. There won't be more than 235,200. And there's more. This is the crazy thing. So let's go through some statistics to show you how special this is. So what is the max percentage of millionaires that can ever become whole coiners by 2026? I calculated this before. Only 3.38% of millionaires can ever become whole coiners. That's the problem with being late. Let me show you the math behind that. Uh, uh, again, more numbers, but if you look at the Bitcoin accounted for, 8.3 million per my calculations. Bitcoin left to mine, 1.65 million. The balance is 11 million. 30% may sell, that's 3.3 million. And there will be 97.9 million millionaires by 2026. So if the 3.3 sell to those 98 million millionaires, only 3.38% can actually buy one. But the problem is any millionaire that decides to get some Bitcoin, they're not going to buy one. They're going to buy as many as they can. So that 3.38% is a maximum number. Again, that's a peak, peak number of millionaires that can actually buy Bitcoin. But there's more. What happens when a big fish like Saylor comes in? Uh, Michael Saylor has 152,333 Bitcoin under MicroStrategy. Plus he has about 37,000 himself. And the average Bitcoin per human is 0 0.00175. So Sailor coming in and buying, okay, if he buys 152,000, he is denying 87 million people the average Bitcoin per person. Nearly 90 million people can never have the average level of Bitcoin per person. Taking the total supply, 
which I take as 14 million divided by the population, 8 billion, you get those numbers. Again, it's fascinating. But there's more. Let's look at some more stats here in the conclusion. Uh, first of all, to remind you all, there will never be more than 235,200 whole coiners. It's dwindling. And I'll explain one big reason why too. And owning one Bitcoin will put you in the top 0.0044% of the world's population in terms of wealth. Again, having fun, one full Bitcoin will put you in a class of your own. In addition, the number of Bitcoin whole coiners as a percentage of the world population is 0.0029%, as I call rarefied air, ladies and gentlemen. And there's more. The average net worth of the world population today is $7,000. That's what the average of the 8 billion people on Earth. You take all the wealth on Earth, you divide it by 8 billion, you get $7,000. But there's a huge concentration at the top, the top 1%, top 0.5%, etc. So, but that is big. And Bitcoin per millionaire, as I mentioned, assuming nobody else has any, would be 0 0.141 Bitcoin in 2026. But there's people that got in early. They're never selling. They're holding forever. So again, that's just an impossible number. But it shows you how scarce this thing is when if it was only millionaires that wanted to buy Bitcoin, each millionaire would never have more than 0 0.141 Bitcoin. But there's more. Uh, the amount of Bitcoin you need to have more net worth than the average person on the planet is only 0 0.23 of a Bitcoin. And that will give you more wealth than the average net worth uh, of anybody else on the planet. But that's assuming all your worth is in Bitcoin. So it's a big deal. That's also why the scammers are looking for you. So be careful with your security. Don't trust anybody anywhere. And remember as well, so things like gold, demand finds supply, but not with Bitcoin, because supply is capped. Okay, you can't dig deeper and get more. That's it. It's finite. Very scarce. And because people are losing it, it's even more scarce. And that brings us to lost coins. This is the whammy here. I said 235,000 whole coins, maximum number. But this, guess what? The math that we just walked through does not take into account the 5 million lost coins. Okay? That is 26.3% of the supply gone forever. So my estimate is actually less than 200,000 whole coiners will ever exist on the planet. And let's talk about some price targets. Uh, Kathy Wood came out and said this just yesterday. Um, to, she said she predicted that Bitcoin could reach 1.5 million by 2030. That's her bull case for Bitcoin because it's a safe haven asset. Imagine all the millionaires, the 90 million millionaires want to get a safe haven asset. And she points to the March 2023 regional bank crisis when Bitcoin rallied from 19,000 to 30,000 as investors sought a safe place. And I was on the receiving end of phone calls from people that hated Bitcoin. And all of a sudden, how do I get Bitcoin? How do I get my money out of the bank? And how do I get Bitcoin? Um, and Woods also believes that Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation and counterparty risk. And she argues that Bitcoin's decentralization and nature makes it immune to the kind of financial crisis that happened in 2008. And Woods predicted, her prediction is based on the assumption that Bitcoin will continue to gain adoption as a store of value. And if this prediction is correct, we have a new financial system, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, her bear case is about 680,000, I think, by 2030. Either way, that's more than a 20x from where we are today at 30k. That rhymed. Didn't mean to rhyme that, by the way. So the uh, fundamental summary is, get some. It's important, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, if this is a lot, you can get everything from our community writer in a Substack form, every slide, every piece of data, etc. And a big thank you to everybody on Patreon. And have a good day, everybody. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.